So Keyshawn, how credible is this fight? It's credible, but that's kind of where the fight, the fight world to me. Yeah. So growing up, you know, seeing Muhammad Ali and, and Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray and all the, 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 the great fighters back in those days, right? Yeah. Mike Tyson. It's different now. It's like guys like Jake Paul pick out the guys that they want to fight. And they're not necessarily fighting guys at this level. Now he is. Now he is, right? Before, it's just been guys that, I don't know, from different sports. He fought Nate Robinson uh, at, like, you know, different sports. This here? Yeah. This right here, Skip? Mm -hmm. Jake Paul has everything to win if he was to defeat Mike Tyson. Nothing to lose. Mike Tyson has everything to lose in credibility if that was the case with Jake Paul. Even and though 60 you, years old. You don't think people give him a, a break being almost 60 years of age? Give who a break? Tyson. Like, if he did lose, wouldn't they say, well, he's almost 60 years old? Skip, I understand that. He ain't losing. Okay. Mike Tyson is a trained killer. Well, okay. He, he used to be. No, he still is yeah. compared to Jake Paul. Mm. Compared to Jake. Because what Mike Tyson is not going to do, he's not getting ready to lose to a YouTube or whatever, he's an a internet YouTuber. success or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mike Tyson's not losing to him. I can promise you that, Skip. He's going to be in the best shape since he stopped boxing to beat this dude. Mm. Now, when he fought Roy Jones Jr. in a, in a split decision back in 2020... Mike Tyson didn't look like Mike Tyson looked now. It wasn't a split. They, they, they called it a draw. A draw, yeah, yeah a draw. Okay, yeah. It, it, he's different now. Then it was, you know, I'm getting in shape, boom, boom, boom. But now, that dude, let me tell you something, man. I ran into Mike Tyson several years ago, several, several years ago, after he retired, whatever. You had dinner, right? Yeah, and, and we were at yeah. Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. And just talking to him, how did you know I had dinner? I, you have dinner with everybody. Oh. <laughs> everybody you bring up on. <laughs> so I was scared, Skip, of just talking to him. Okay? I know him. I'm looking yeah. at him in his eyes. I'm I not looking to. over here having a conversation. I, I got you. Because I didn't want to disrespect him and have him feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then when you hug and you shake his hands, and he was at this time a little out of shape because he was chilling. He was chilling. Man, I'm not messing with that dude, man. I understand Jake Paul. Look, it ain't me and you. See, if I was a, if I were, you and I were to get in a ring, that'd be different. You and him get in the ring, Jake Paul gonna beat you, he gonna beat me too, right? But, he, but he's in the ring with a dude that did that for a living. If you got on the football field with me, it's not gonna be the same because I did it for a living. If I try to be a journalist like you all the time, you probably gonna win. You're probably going to win. Probably. <laughs> but he is going up against a guy that all he did for his life was box. Not all of a sudden wake up one day and say, oh, I think I want to be a boxer, and I'm going to go fight Nate Robinson, an ex-basketball player who was an athlete, mm -hmm. and I'm going to punch him and knock him down. Okay. No, no Skip. Mm. Uh-uh. So you, are you giving him a shot? Sure. You are Absolutely. giving Jake Paul a shot? Absolutely. Okay. We can put some money on this one. Okay. We well, I, again, I'm not saying he's going to win. I'm not betting on him to win, but you just said he's going to get knocked out. Man, he might knock that dude out, man. I feel... Might? Bad. Or will? If you say he will, I'll put money on it. He will not knock out I, Jake I, Paul. I don't know Jake Paul's chin level. I don't yeah. know if he can take the shot. Yeah. Or whatever the case may be. But Mike Tyson's not going to lose to him. Okay. Now, whether or not, whether or not Mike knocks him out, he's going to walk away from this fight. He gonna feel, he gonna feel, he, them ribs and them, oh man, come on, man. Okay, so you're saying it's not a credible matchup. For Jake? Or just this in should, general? To watch. The, the, no, the, you can watch it because it'll be, this is where boxing, this is where this level of boxing yeah. is at now. It'll be fun to watch and see because of Mike Tyson. Because you just, you know, it, it's so interesting. There's certain people in sports, no matter who they are, right? Whether it's Tiger Woods, when he walks out on the course, you always feel like he gonna win. I don't care what you say about his body being broke down. If Michael Jordan got into shape and he walked into the gym, you just always feel 
like Mike Tyson is always going to be the heavyweight champion of the world. It's just, it, it's just certain people in sports, that's how you feel. Tom Brady, he can come back right now and go to a team. You're just going to feel like they're going to win the Super Bowl. And that's how it is with Mike Tyson. Yeah. And Mike Tyson is not going to lose his <laughs> reputation against some dude okay. off the internet. But he's not going to knock him out. He won't. He just I don't won't. Know. I don't know. Okay. Don't if, know. if you want to bet on a knockout, you, you, uh, uh, let's put, push the chips to the middle of the table. I, I don't know Jake Paul's cheating, okay. though. I don't know if he can, right. I, you know. Okay, so my turn. He's going to beat the crap. Man, he's going, oh. Right. Well, then, okay, you, wait. You, then you think it's going to be a knockout. I don't necessarily, I don't know if okay. it'll be a all knockout. Okay, right. all right, all right. Okay, now, I'm going to start where you started. I grew up the biggest boxing fan. I got to live through the Ali age, and, and he was my all-time favorite athlete. I got posters on my wall. This is way before your time. He was it in and out of the ring for me because he was not afraid to shatter every mold, as you know. Yeah. He was as great a figure in the sports world that ever walked this earth. That's just me. I get chills just talking about him because I got to be around him. Yeah. He once called me at home to, to talk to me. And so I, I know the champ and I know what he was made of. And listen, that thrill in Manila, I, I've never seen like, I get goosebumps because they nearly killed each other. And the rumble in the jungle, I still don't know how he did it, but he did it. And those days are long gone, as you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now I hark back to 2015. We were there, Las Vegas, and it was all we had, but we had Floyd versus Manny, Pacquiao. Mm -hmm. and. And it felt big to me, but unfortunately, it was way past its, its time. Mm -hmm. Because, what was Floyd, 38? Manny was, excuse me, 36? Okay, so they're... they're they probably should have fought a long time like, ago. Like, yeah. like eight, ten, ten years, years earlier. earlier. Yeah, let's have it when it, was, when it was right. But that's all we had. And I was into it, everybody was into it, but, but that's, boxing had come to that. So now... Will I watch this? You better believe I'll watch yeah, it. But, but now it's like, it's like a barroom argument that came to life because you guys might be having some drinks and saying, well, what if Jake Paul fought Mike Tyson like right now? What would happen? That's just something you'd yeah, throw out and absolutely. you'd kick it around absolutely. and you'd argue about it. Oh, Mike Tyson would kill him. Like, like literally no, maybe kill him. He's going to K-I-L-T him kilt. Okay, I got gotcha. you. But all of a sudden, it's almost like that pipe dream of a fight came to life. Mm. And somebody said, well, let's, let's see what happens. And Mike Tyson's saying, I'll do it because the money is there to be made because there's no Ali, there's no George Foreman, there's yeah. no Joe Frazier, there's no you name him. I em. think Tyson Fury just got, did something to yeah. his hand or something and yeah. got hurt. Right. And, and he's, he's gifted as a huge human yeah. being. He's, so he's a gifted big. fighter. But the point is, Tommy Fury, his, what is he, his nephew, mm -hmm. did fight Jake Paul. I respect Jake Paul's athletic ability and That's all his, good. his yeah. guts. He, I, he's got I respect, guts. I respect, okay? I respect all, right. all that. That's why I said if I was ever getting a ring with him, yeah. he'd kill me. Yeah. He'd, he'd beat the you-know-what out of he's me. He's a bigger kid than you think he is because he's, he's 6'1", 200, okay? Doesn't matter, okay, those I got kids. you, but he's not small. Doesn't so. matter. Mike right. Tyson... Uh, go ahead, Skip. Okay, so he boxed Tommy Fury, mm -hmm. who's very good. Not great, not all-time great, but very good. Yeah. And it was a split decision. Yeah. And one of the judges had... Jake Paul winning the fight. The other two had Tommy Fury. And so Tommy that's, Fury ain't Mike Tyson. Okay, though. he's definitely not Mike Tyson, but he's At a credible, he's a credible boxer. Yes, but okay. he ain't Mike Tyson. All right, so I also have spent some time around Mike Tyson, so I know what you're talking about. He still has somewhere in there psycho killer, like oh, like my just goodness. just like he was the baddest man who ever stepped into a ring. And I know George Foreman early on, but listen. Tyson was it. And I know he fell out of shape and Buster Douglas happened and all yeah, that. Yeah, but he was, it was, yeah, it was all it. wild in his life at that point. Was it? If wild. he was under control, okay. if John Horn and, and Roy and all them had yeah. him under control, he wouldn't have been in that situation. All right. So 
he has not fought professionally since 2005. So we're going on 20 years since his last real professional fight. Mm -hmm. We're going on four years since he and Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, had tried the little, the little exhibition. Yeah. It was eight rounds. Mm -hmm. And to your point, early on in that quote unquote fight, Tyson was taking it like too seriously. And he rocked Roy a couple times, especially with a couple of body shots where well, Roy looked hurt to me, you know, like, yeah. like he, 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 he had the wind knocked out but, of him. But again, though, I almost called you Chris. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Skip, again, though, these are two world-class boxers that went up against each other yep. that did this for a living mm -hmm. since they was how big? Yep. This is all they, they knew. Did. Well, and to your point... And they both were champions at doing and it. And Roy Jones sort of hung on for dear life. Like, literally, he just clinched his way through the rest of the fight, yeah. and the judges ruled it a draw. That's I, I thought Mike yeah. won the fight pretty yeah. easily. And Mike wasn't unquote. in the best of shape right then, either. Okay, and to your point, thank you for that segue, because in at the weigh-in before that fight... Tyson, who can be a little out there occasionally, he said that he had tried this psychedelic drug. Called, it was <laughs> ca called toad venom. Uh -huh. And when he tried the drug, he said, I took that medicine, and the medicine told me it's time to get in shape. So he said he lost almost 100 pounds for that Roy Jones to get to 220. Yeah. So let's say he was over 300 pounds. Yeah, Is that Roy, possible? Uh, that, Jerry, okay. I'm telling you, when I was having dinner with him, I'm looking at him, but I'm, I'm, I know he's out of shape. I mean, I'm looking at him. I know that's not the same Tyson. Yeah. And I was saying to myself, if he ever got into shape, I wonder, and I'm a fanboy, so I'm wondering, yeah. if he ever got in shape, could he do it again? Okay, but for any human to lose almost 100 pounds is hard on your body. And if you let yourself roller coaster and go, and I have no idea what his shape is as we speak, is he up toward 300 again? Is no. he gonna have to lose 60, 70 no. pounds? No, he's not that's, up to 300. It's too many. It's no, just it's not many. up to 300. Yeah, okay. He, he's, he's a lot. He's down a lot. But he's also training and taking it serious because he's not going to walk out there and lose to that dude. Yeah, and he knows, because he he was a mentor to Jake. I mean, he knows him. And Keyshawn, he likes him, but that won't matter at all. This, this he liked be, everybody until you get into the ring. Absolutely, absolutely. And my God, some of the stuff I saw him do... Uh, to to Spinks and oh God. Um, it, it was just it's like me getting on the football field, yeah. Skip. I'm the I was the nicest guy, the sweetest guy that ever was outside those white lines. When I got inside those white lines, you and I, we I don't even know you. You 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 are blank to me. I understand. And that's how it is. You talk about cold blooded mm -hmm. killers. You all, we we talk about Michael Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. When Michael Jordan got on the court. Nobody was his friend. Never seen anything like it before. You know? Yeah. Nobody, even if I had to make things up in my own mind about somebody... W which is what he you did. You do that. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. This, this... this Look, Jake. does Jake Paul have an opportunity and a chance? Yes. Yes, he does. But it's not gonna come to fruition, no. When, when Mike Tyson gets going and gets in that ring, the DNA and the body, obviously, with all of us, it just... <laughs> Triggers. It does. Okay? Yep. Period. That's just how professional athletes are built. Okay, that's your spirit, that's your psyche, but will your body go with you at nearly 60 years of age when it triggers as it always used to? It, it probably will if you train in the way that, that he's got to train. Yeah. And clearly he's doing that. Clearly. I mean, I just saw some clips. Those aren't old clips. Those are new clips of, of Mike. That's new. Yep. That ain't, look, look how much smaller he is yep. from the time with, with uh, Roy Jones. You can just look at his body and tell how he's fit. Yep. You can just look at the I don't know slimness. when that's from. Is it... I think that's recent. That's okay. most recent. All right. That's not old. Okay. Uh, it... And then they haven't said how many rounds we're going here. Are we going to go eight? eight are we going to go maybe. 10? Are we going to go 12? No, you can't go 12 know. rounds. Okay, okay, well, that's... Now, see, you start saying 12 rounds. Yeah, that's a different a conversation. Other... Yes. I don't think this is a 12-round fight. It might yeah. be eight or less, because they haven't said. I was looking for it. They haven't said exactly how many. Okay. But I'm still... I'm just... I'm trying to convince you, man. I know you watch boxing a long time. Mm -hmm. But and I have, too. But when you get in a ring with something like that... Yes, I, I understand. I mean, I, what was, I when George came back, the when he came back and won the heavyweight championship, what was he, 50? George Foreman? Yeah. 
I, th I think he was in his 40s, 45-ish, 48. I maybe. thought for some reason yeah. I thought he was 50. Yeah, maybe he was close, close to 50. And he had set out a while. Yep. But again, when he came back to box, you know, even, even, even when Muhammad Ali had the little short stint of not boxing, when he came back, he became the world champion again, heavyweight champion again, mm -hmm. after sitting out and not boxing and not being allowed to and all those sort of, yeah. it, because the, the, the DNA in your body, man, yeah. it just triggers. Yeah, but then I, I was there when Muhammad fought his last fight against yeah. Trevor Burbick in the Bahamas. The end, I was by sitting, the end, it was over with. I was sitting ringside, and it was the saddest sight I've yeah, ever but seen. The end, but by the end, it was over. It was I, a I thousand fights in. Trevor Burbick, God. It's going to be fun yeah. to watch. Netflix going to make a lot of money. Well, there you go. Isn't that the point? Yeah. Congratulations to Netflix. Yeah, they're going to make a lot of money right? on this one. Okay. And yet, I'm going to say it again. Jake Paul, to me, is no joke. Even though he's a YouTube sensation. I, I get it, Skip. He, he is a mentally and physically tough kid from the streets. He, he's not, he didn't come from money. He's got money now, and he's about to have a whole lot more money. This, this is different, though. Yeah. No, this is different. I, I, this, ain't, this ain't, again, this ain't yeah. Nate Robinson. This ain't Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah. This is not... Uh, 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 Le'Veon Bell. This is not one of those type of situations. You, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? This is somebody that's been doing this mm -hmm. basically since birth. This yeah. is somebody... So you're going up against something different. That's all I'm saying. So the warning sign is up. Mm. That's all I'm saying. I think we just sold a whole bunch of views to this fight, right? I think a whole bunch of people are saying, I'm in, I'll watch. And I may be wrong, and, and but I, I doubt I, it. I, I'm going to be curious to see how many show up at Jerry World because you, you can get for boxing. You could probably get I don't know ninety thousand and hundred thousand if but you wanted is to. But uh, is this an uh, is this an undercard for something or is no. it the main no, kind of main event? It. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah, I mean Jake Paul started as on the undercard so you can get for the Tyson people? one. Well, you could. I mean, I don't know if they'll come out for this, but I, I, all I know is. I'll buy it and I'll watch it. That's Tyson's all I know. gonna draw. I don't know if it'll be a hundred thousand, but he'll draw. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, Jake Paul's because got a the, big the, following. Again, yeah. Jake Paul has a following. Yeah. Not only does he have a following, think about this. As I said to you before, all of us that are Tyson fanboys, as you want to call it, that grew up watching Mike mm -hmm. are gonna want to watch, and then all the people that never watched Mike are gonna want to see because they heard all of the fanboys like mm -hmm. me talk about how great Mike was back in yeah. the day. Yeah. So you're going to get all of that. You are. And you know and I know, it never hurts for marketability when it comes to boxing if you got black and white. You, oh, yeah, you can do that, too. Uh, yeah. So it's Hopefully got, it won't divide anything up. No, but I'm just saying, it, it never hurts. It never just hurts. Because how many times did they try to find a great white hope or hype for Ali? And it's just... Jerry they, Cooney. No, I'm just they kidding. tried. Yeah, they tried. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.